Hey everybody, we're playing some Slime Rancher 2. Let's get going. Alright, let's go through the portal. Let's try to find some rare things. Also, I just noticed I never checked what's behind me. Not once did I think about checking. Okay, I don't want to open that. Huh. Okay, well, noted. There is something behind me. I have to figure out how to open it. I just don't exactly know how. Okay, we'll try to hunt. Or something. Oh, what is. Oh. Actually, we don't need this. We have plenty of baddie slimes. I just, like, I took a break, so, like, I kind of just came back and I'm kind of jumping right in. But I think what we're looking for is honey. Honey. Ringtail. And something. Ooh, and puddle. That's that's the one. That is the one that we're looking for. Honey, ringtail, and puddle. So we'll have to create a new kind of sanctuary for the puddles, but we have a little bit of money on us, so that shouldn't be too bad. What else we got? So I think there's a good cave over here. Yeah, I think this is the cave over here where we find some pretty good stuff, actually. Here just to see if... Is every, okay, everything is still here. We probably just leave a bunch of stuff here, like, forever, and just, like, won't despawn, which is kind of nice. Real question is, what do we even need from inside of here? I need to get somewhere. I'm kind of going to the opposite where I should be. I need to go somewhere that's, like, normal weather and with a lot of water, because I'm looking for these puddles. I wonder if we can do something from here. Let's throw these guys out of there so we don't have to deal with them. Can we make it? Nope, not really. Okay. Let's grab this thing. been over here like a few times and we never actually found anything useful. Let's give it another couple checks here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's anything here that we need. Maybe I should go back to the other portal and keep trying. Let's go up there one more time. I know there's stuff over there. How did they get up there again? I think I went from here. And I did some parkour right here. Yeah, that's what I did. What was back here anyway? I totally forgot. <clears throat> that's probably a jump I can't make. I totally forgot it was back here already. Oh. Well, you know what? Grabbing a few... Oh, it was this place that... Yeah, once again, I didn't really know... Ooh, but there's a puddle. Okay, that's actually... This was a place that I wanted to see. I want to keep this radiant ore, though, because... A little bit more important than the rock slimes. Okay, I, like it. I need to do something with this water spout to get. I, like, I'm almost there, but not really. I can't like climb, can I? Oh, I need a jetpack. That's what I need. I need a jetpack. I think we can get one of those. Yeah, like, it, it just hit me. I'm like, oh, yeah. The jetpack exists in this game. Alright, well, let's make our, our way all the way back. It looks like a bunch of the places that we need to go to next actually involve the jetpack. And I just, like, didn't think about it. Right, let's try to grab some other radiant ore. I think... I don't know what I need for the jetpack, but I'm assuming it's going to involve a lot of the materials that I actually have on me now. 
All right, we're back home. Let's stick everything in the refiner, and I'm hoping we have everything for the jetpack. I don't know, though. Let's see. Jetpack. Oh, I need four more radiant ore. Four. Okay. Well, we'll have to go back out and grab it. Um, before we do that, though, let's go ahead and just get the puddle down. Let's build an enclosure for it. Oh, that's just like a, like a the Slimepedia. Over here, we can also stick some food in all of the places. Do that too. There we go. I need to get a couple more honey slimes. I'm a little low on those. A lot of ports in there. Maybe I think we might be a little full on these. Yeah, we seem to get pretty full on this one pretty quickly. Already back at 100. Just have to pull some out. 14 of these. I tend to neglect putting food in this one though, so I'm sure we'll get more of these. Now. Okay, let's go to the new place. Let's build... I don't know, we have 2,000, so we can't build, like, a crazy amount, but... We have a coral garden... Can we have a pond? What, do, what can I upgrade with the pond? Will these guys chill in here? Diet? Their diet is water? Problem is I can't auto collect those. Hmm. Maybe I'll just have to build a whole bunch of ponds. Okay. Let's see. What else can I build? Coral. Incinerator. Don't need it. Okay. I don't really need the rest of that. Okay. Well, shoot. If that's it, then there's the pond. I thought I could like upgrade the pond or something, but it doesn't look like it. Something up there. I don't want to fall in the water though, because I kind of have a lot on me. Just because we already have a whole bunch of these, and they actually. Oh, 11. No, they're a terrible price, but it's okay. Alright. Alright, then let's go out and let's hunt for two things. Also, who's this guy? Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with that guy. Let's hunt for chickens and let's hunt for the radiant cores. There we go. That'll give us two. We need to basically find just one more. It shouldn't be super far away. There we go. That's four. Hmm. You know what? We have enough. Let's just come back. I could probably stick around and try to grab some more things, but then I'd have to throw away the chickens, and you know what? Let's just go. Let's grab the jetpack, because once we get the jetpack, I think it'll open up a lot, like, a lot of other parts of the map. Let's just go ahead and just get it done. Let's make it and give it a little whirl here. Okay, let's take a visit to the meat, uh, meat section. <laughs> Throw these chickens in, and then we can go ahead and build the jetpack here. I don't know, like, what's the difference between all these types of chickens, but I'm just going to throw them all in one place and, uh, yeah, hope for the best. Let's just throw a bunch of those in there. Ooh, looks like... How'd you get out? Like, how do you collect? Not really sure like how you actually do the collecting portion of this.
I got 14,000, uh, whatever the currency is called. So I did a little bit of farming, um, and a couple of things happened in between. The first thing that I want to do right away is I didn't realize when you upgrade your silo, it doesn't give you one slot. It gives you three. So we're going to go and take the silo. We're going to try to max this bad boy out. There we go. Yeah, I straight up did not know that it actually gives you three on each side. So that's kind of on me. So I'm going to be using this to store all the plorts. Now, here's my other question. Can I stick a honey from there into here? I can. So we can store more than one type of plort as long as it's in a different, like, unit, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to do. Um, the second thing I wanted to do is it seems like the crystal and the rock... Uh, slimes mixed together and I accidentally created a whole bunch of Largos. Now here's my deal. This wouldn't be a problem, but the thing is my rates of plorts has actually gone down because I've had to remove so many Largos out because they're so much bigger. Um, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I know some people are going to argue against me saying, well, you technically get two plorts per food instead of one. The thing is, I can only fit like 10 in here. If I use just the slime itself, I can fit like 30 or 40, so essentially, like, what you're worried about in that scenario is enough food, but I have unlimited amount of food. But if I have more slimes in there, it'll make me more money quicker. So, the one thing we gotta take care of is I gotta go, I gotta, I'm gonna do that probably now, is I'm gonna grab 30 more crystals, 30 more rocks, bring it back here and get rid of these guys, basically redo this. Um, and then I have one other mission. Because of this whole fiasco, I've learned a little bit more about Largos, and although I'm going to be replacing these back with their original slimes, I will be using Largos in a different setting, which is the Meat Eaters. So, as you guys know, <clears throat> there are certain slimes that only eat meat. The problem with these is it's kind of hard to get meat, because you have to use these coops, but these coops are very um, not efficient. They're not that quick. It's hard to get um, food for these guys. So, if you guys don't know, when you combine two slimes to make a Largo, they do combine diets. Meaning, these guys only eat meat. But if I combine them with something else that doesn't eat meat, that can eat something like a veggie, I can basically feed the meat eater a veggie and still get the plort from it. So as much as I love these chickens, I think I'm going to break this down and put some form of... Or maybe I'll I'll leave this here for now, because that's not like I have to put anything else. But I'm going to bring a couple of other plorts, and I'm going to change these to something a little easier to be able to feed. So I guess we could probably do that first. Let me put all these back in here. So let's go grab some plorts. Now, you guys might be wondering. All right, David. So we're gonna go ahead and make some Largos. What are we going to be combining them with? And I think what I want to combine them with is honey. And I might as well, if I'm making different types of Largos, I might as well um, like make them different. So like I'll make one a honey. So like let's just say like a honey boom. And then we also have the tabbies. I'll make like a tabby something else, something easier. I'm trying to think of everything that eats fruit. I think the honey is by far the easiest. Let's just grab a few honeys. Just grab like, I don't know, 15. I don't think we'll need this many. And then I'm trying to think, I could make a, technically make a veggie one. But it might be easier, but I want to also, look, if I'm doing this, I might as well diversify the type of ports that I get, right? I'm trying to think what type of port I should make it. I can make one a bat one. Make it a rock one. Wonder what would oh I can make it pink slime. But I don't know. Maybe I'll just make it hmm. Ah, this is a hard choice. Maybe the rock ones. Let's do some rock ones. Because then we can feed it some veggies. But should I be smart and just make them all... I feel like I should be smart and maybe just make them all honey. That way I can just kind of come along with fruit. 
And the problem is the honey, well, not the problem. The good part about honeys is they're so calm. It kind of calms all of them down. You know, let me just grab a full 40. There we go. Okay, so let's head over here. Let's go ahead and make some Largos out of these bad boys. And that way, we'll be able to feed them something much easier than chicken. So I was over here worrying about chicken. I don't need to worry about chicken. I can just make Largos and just not have to worry about it anymore. Um, yeah. So I guess we'll just make honey in all of these. We'll definitely have to get rid of a couple, that's for sure. I also gotta make sure I don't die here. Alright, a bunch of you couple. I almost just died. Now let me go ahead and regain... Yeah, these guys are a little nasty, but once again, once we kind of combine them with some honey, they should probably calm down. Okay, you know what? Let's just do... Alright, how many? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Probably fit one more tabby in here. Of these anglers. Let's do. How many anglers we got? One, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we could probably fit one more in there. Okay, let me grab a few more booms out. Ooh, I almost died again. Gotta be. How many? One, two, three. They keep exploding. I can't tell. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. <laughs> Honestly, maybe I think that's probably good. Okay, so let's start throwing some honey ports in there. I guess I need you all. I need all of you to calm down. Come a little less aggressive, for favor. Can I? Yeah, you guys have the music too. Okay, here, bang, bang. Let me just throw a bunch in there. Could all of you grab a port? Did you get a port? There you go, there you go. Anyone in there missing? Let's grab the rest of them, the extras. Okay. I think you could probably fit one or two more in there now. Let's throw a couple in there. I think, I think these guys will still be good. Ooh. You need there, bud? Okay. Go ahead and collect. Okay, I think these guys will be good. They don't seem to be hitting the floor or the ceiling way too often. Yeah, honestly, maybe I could add even a few more in there. Alright, I'm just gonna add a couple more. I think we'll be good. Okay, these guys will be good. Alright, Tabby, same thing. Let's get some honey zipping you. Yeah, I, get, I should probably diversify, like... Like, you know, get honey in one, something else in another, but for now... Honey's work, because it, it just... It makes them calmer, and I can feed them... Yeah, like, you, you could argue for a couple of other ones, but I just think the honeys are just so easy. Might as well just do it this way. And I can always replace them later. No problem. There we go. Um, ow, I can definitely fit a few more tabbies in here. I'll just throw all the tabbies in there. Here, you guys want to eat some of this? Alright, go ahead. You know what? Eat all of those. Let me grab some chickens. There we go. Throw the chickens in here, and you guys can give me some more honey while you're at it. There you go. Right, make me some honey, please. Okay, there we go. More honey. Are you guys good in there? Is there too many? Dang. You guys good? aren't even hitting the ceiling there. You know what? I'm throwing all of them in there. I don't even care. And then, look, these guys will make the other ones into honey ones later. Now, the anglers, okay, I think I did have a couple of, a couple too many anglers in there, so we'll see how many of these I have to throw back. Go eat up. Couple in there. Go. And we'll just make them throw out some honeys, too. There we go. 
So, this makes our meat-eating slimes much easier to farm their respective plorts this way. Which is very nice. I can just uh, shove some fruit in here. And call it a good day. Saying that now, I should probably make this into fruit, shouldn't I? Because I don't really need the meat anymore as much. Let me just throw all these away. We'll throw the chickadees in here. We can put these chickens over here. This is explode a little way too often. Put the chickens in there. Screw it. Stony chickadoo. Alright. Go. That's one, I think. Okay, so now we can break this. Again, we have so much money, it's like, not even, it's not like it even matters. We can. Yeah, can I demolish it? Now we'll create this into a garden. We'll buy all of these, and we'll put some form of fruit in here. Do I have any fruit just lying around by chance? I, think I might have to go grab one. We'll grab just a quick piece of fruit. Yeah. If I was smart, I'd probably make them both into the fruit. The thing is, I also don't I don't want to completely... Well, you know what? Technically, I do have the chickens over here. So I could just I could just farm chickens here and I could feed the other ones meat. Or maybe, I, maybe I'll do that. Now, what's the easiest fruit? Yeah, maybe I'll grow one of both. So let's grow one of these and one of these. Let's just grow one of both. Alright, let's head back. And yeah, again, I want to keep every slime just the normal slime except the meat eaters. The meat eaters are just because they, they're they the one that cause the most problems as far as getting their resources to feed them. And there's so many types of chickens and this is like, yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I don't want to deal with all the coops and the chickens because they can't, I don't know, they don't seem to auto collect either. I don't understand why. So they almost just like don't want to deal with them. So we're going to go ahead and put that in here. Let's, let's throw all the anglers back in there. If there's too many, we'll take them out. There you go. Let's take these. Eat up. If there's too many, we'll throw them out. There you go. 